Good evening. Good evening. My name is Ezra in person and ERA CPP on the net. Oh dear. I didn't touch anything. Well, I guess this view suffices anyway. Tonight, I would like to talk about standard standards for C++. But before I continue further, a disclaimer. What follows in this talk is based on my personal observations. It is descriptive, not prescriptive. It's not exhaustive or comprehensive. Uh, the, this presentation is just my personal snapshot of what I have seen and currently understand to be standard C++. Take a moment to consider what comes to mind when you hear standard C++. Detour, standard, the adjective. What is it? What does it mean? What is its definition? The definition of the, standard, of the word standard is not one, but many, each pertaining to a certain use or context. For example, one, serving as or conforming to an established or accepted measurement or value. Two, widely recognized or employed as a model of authority or excellence. Three, acceptable but of less than top quality. And so on and so forth. This is the definition, the set of definitions, for the adjective standard, according to the free dictionary by Farlex. If we scroll further down the list of results, whose layout I admittedly do not fully understand, we find even more definitions, such as those pertaining to descriptions of vehicle transmissions and meat. And there are also other dictionaries to use as reference, each with their own often similar, yet nevertheless distinct, definitions of the very same word. According to Google search, it may also refer to a tree or shrub. According to Merriam-Webster, it may also mean having recognized and permanent value. So I have observed that as, there, so I have observed that as there are many definitions of the adjective standard, so too are there many definitions of standard C++. The one most familiar to my audience today probably being the programming language we all know and love and hate, but still love, as defined by the standard C++ specification. But which one? According to the isocpp.org website, the current ISO C++ standard is officially known as ISO International Standard ISO IEC, yada yada, I don't know what the E means, Programming Language C++, or unofficially C++20. But there are also many more standards of C++ that are actively being used today and future standards being written as we speak. The C++ standards being used by one person, company, or organization may not be the same as those used by another. If one is not careful to specify which standard C++ is the subject of discussion, there may eventually, it, they may eventually encounter confusion and misunderstandings. So when a beginner that is new to C++ comes to you and asks, how do I write hello world in C++, before reaching for import and std print, take a moment to first confirm which C++ standard would you like to use? Because it is not a specification alone that allows us to write and use C++, but the compilers that implement the specifications for us. It's the implementation that also that dictates what features from, subsets of, and extensions to C++ standards that are available for us to write and to use. And unlike some modern programming languages, the selection of C++ implementations is not one, but many. And the options supported by said implementations enable a combinatoric explosion of possibilities I cannot possibly enumerate here. I hope that everyone in the audience today and later viewers online will take a moment to acknowledge and review the implementations of C++ that you are using and writing for today. What options, configurations, behaviors, and targets are you using? Because it's difficult to answer which C++ standard are you using if one is not even aware that they have the option to control it. And even when they do not, and that when they do not, even more opportunities abound for confusion and misunderstandings. It is not only in the end when we have established, it is only in the end when we have established rather than assumed the specification we are conforming to and the selection of options and targets driving the behavior of the implementation, we may then have the confidence to discuss and debate what constitutes standard C++ code because alas, neither specification nor implementation dictates standard formatting, standard guidelines, standard design principles, software architecture, standard library distribution and consumption methods, or tools that assist in any of the above. 
all of which may play a role in conforming to one's expectations, to one's assumptions for what may be referring to as C standard C++. So when you next find yourself mentioning, describing, explaining, considering, criticizing, or promoting standard C++, please don't assume. Be explicit and be clear, because there's not one but many standards for C++. And so we must remember, remember to ask, which one? Thank you.